Hello, this is Terry, and this is part three of my uh, mini camper build. And um, before I begin uh, working on my trailer, I just want to give you an idea of what uh, my trailer is going to look like. I know that, you know, watching me work on a trailer is kind of boring, but this is the goal to have a camper that's going to look like this. So I'm going to go with a teardrop shape type camper. And this is a very basic just outline that I really don't have any measurements other than it's going to be eight foot long and four foot wide. And I'm going to use uh, two doors, uh, as you can see here, that are glass doors. So uh, uh, one on each side. And uh, there'll be a storage apartment in the back with a, with a hatch that will lift up. So uh, that's what the goal is, and I'm hoping to have this done really by the end of October and trying to get this trailer done by the end of August. So let's just go ahead and start work again on this trailer. This is part three of my mini camper build. Uh, after thinking it over last night, instead of just trying to loosen the bolts and square everything up and take the warp out, what I've decided to do is take the trailer completely apart. Uh, it'll be easier to square everything out. It'll be easier to uh, take the warp out. It'll be easier to uh, put my uh, supporting steel on. Uh, you know, it'll be easier to, to, to really clean it, uh, take the rust off, uh, and, and paint everything. So I'm just going to take it completely apart. Of the bed sticking up and I moved it over so I can start uh, loosening the bolts and uh, and see if I can't get it uh, square and get the wobble out okay I put the trailer bed on some saw horses and some, and some plywood before I take the uh, unloosen the bolts I decided to, to go ahead first and uh, just go ahead and get all the rust and corrosion off of the uh, bolts heads and nuts you just use a drill and uh, this attachment here this brush it's still brush attachment so I'm going to go around and do all of that first and then I'll loosen everything up OK, 
Okay, I have uh, cleaned all the uh, bolts and nuts, and I've loosened all the bolts, and now I'm ready to get this thing squared. So let's see how that goes. Okay, I did some uh, minor adjustments, and uh, let me see if I got this square. the bolts I checked this the same way once I had to use a rubber mallet to correct it I just happened to tap it in the correct position so right now it's square okay to keep this square while I am tightening my bolts I'm gonna put a strip of wood by this bar and nope and a strip of wood on this side of the bar a strip of wood on this side of the bar and a strip of wood on this side of the bar that way uh, it will be square as I've tightened up the bolts and it won't have a tendency to move around. So I'm going to call that my trailer bed squaring jig. So uh, what I'll do is do that, then tighten the bolts up and this should not move at all after I do that and it should stay true. We'll see. I've got my wood slats cut and I've got them butted up against the uh, beam here. Those two are going to be for this beam and these two are gonna be for this beam. So uh, that should keep everything square as I'm tightening up the bolts. those in uh, that should keep it square while I'm tightening all the nuts and bolts got this upside down I'm gonna go ahead and scrape as much as paint off and use that wire brush and I'm gonna see if I can clean all this up and have it ready for painting and, um, and get that done here while it's upside down
Okay, just step back for a second and just uh, talk about what I've done today. I have uh, squared the frame, clean and tightened all the bolts. I have went through and chipped off and uh, scraped off all the paint that was flaking off. So I've got that done. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I believe, is to move this frame off the saw horses and actually put it on my rolling table that I use to make knives with. So uh, I got to get all of this stuff here and just put it in other places of the garage just temporarily. I got some tables I can put out too. So that's what I'm going to do. That way I can roll it around because when I start doing some welding and weld some of these joints here and add some support, I'm gonna be doing that outside the garage and it's just gonna be easier to, to roll it in at nights and then take it back out during the day. So the next step is to put this frame on this table. Now on my uh, four by eight foot roll table and it fits just perfect. Not a problem at all. Uh, so next is to start doing some well on these joints that I want to weld. And I've also got one eighth inch angle iron here that I'm going to, to uh, put on the bottom and weld it to these beams for support. Uh, I'm gonna support to get the sag out and also to make sure I keep it square and for some just regular overall support of the trailer itself. In this part, I was gonna go show you my welding. I was gonna show you my support. I was gonna show you putting the trailer together and painting it, but I think I'm actually gonna stop part three here because it's getting pretty long and I'll be doing that in part four. Thanks for watching. If you would, please like and comment and I'll see you in the next part. Thank you.